Good afternoon, Red Hawk Nation. Today is Monday, April 11th, and I'm Alex Moore here with another daily update brought to you by Wingspan TV. Frisco Streets took place in downtown Frisco Saturday. WTV's Halle Barham has more. For the fifth consecutive year, Frisco Streets hit downtown with 23 food trucks and many local vendors. Ranging in taste from Korean to American to Cajun, Frisco Streets drew thousands of North Texans looking to taste the variety of culture found in the DFW area. Uh, we're typically in the Dallas area. We do a lot of places like the truck yard, uh, all the breweries. Uh, we do all the, the colleges like Community College and Plano East. With the ability to move across cities in North Texas, it can be hard to locate certain food trucks when wanted. However, with an event like Frisco Streets, locations like Clyde Warren Park, and the help of social media, food trucks are easily accessible. For food trucks, it's, it's everything. Um, if you don't have a social media account, it's really, really hard to get to get known out there with, with your customers. Um, so I'd say a majority of, of our business comes from our social media accounts. Frisco Streets is expected for its sixth year in 2017. I'm Hallie Barham reporting for WTV. This week is Custodian Appreciation Week. Last Friday, the LHS Pulse did an experiment at lunch. Wingspan's Maddie Owens has the story. Perhaps the most overlooked staff members on campus, the custodial staff does all the dirty work. As a way to say thank you, Pulse is sponsoring Custodian Appreciation Week this week. It began with a social experiment on Friday when the custodians did not pick up any trash during lunch. With nobody picking up trash, the tables were littered with remains of lunch, leaving some students disappointed in the student body. And so on Friday, I noticed that none of the janitors were picking up trash, and so it was really messy, and I feel like um, the students are like disrespectful towards the janitors because they don't pick up any trash. Thank you for everything you do, and it like means a lot to our school as a whole because they're what like builds our school and what keeps our school clean. And we come to the school five times a week, so it means a lot to pick up the trash. As a way to say thank you, Pulse is providing lunches, coffee, and cake, and letters of appreciation throughout the week. This is Maddie Owens with WTV. Many students who drive various Jeeps and trucks participate in an activity called off-roading. WTV's Tanner Williams has more. Off-roading in Frisco is a hobby that many teenagers take a part of in their free time. There are many places around Frisco that they can ride around on no matter the weather conditions. The most popular vehicle used are Jeeps because of the reliability and ability to be built for whatever conditions are in their path. This activity is steadily growing as more and more Jeeps are being bought and built every day and ridden throughout Frisco. I'm Tanner Williams with Wingspan TV. If you're looking for more from Wingspan, check out our award-winning website, libertywingspan.com. You can also find us on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Liberty Wingspan. That's it for today's daily update. I'm Alex Moore with WTV.